Hello YouTubers, you are on to Dr. Ku Auto Fix. Today I'm going to be sharing exclusive secret of mine which I found out from my own R&D. Why have I been keeping this secret to myself is because a lot of you guys are very unsupportive. You've been making my channel to flop and underrated. And some of the unique idea which I have been the only one who shared on the internet space, you guys make that video to flop and an Indian guy took the video and remake it and you guys made it to go viral. I don't know if it is because I'm a person of color that make you guys to actually make my channel to run that poor or underrated. Now, in this very video here, I want you to follow the rules I'm creating here strictly. There's going to be part two and the part two is going to be out if this video did not flop but if this video flop well i'm gonna keep that one to myself right now here is the first rule the first rule here is if you finish the recovery process do not use the ac system of the car b you will understand the car b after watching this video and kindly do not skip any part in this very video do not implement any half of it because you're gonna create more problem for your car or whichever car which you intend to do or perform this very service on the second rule here is if the both cars are not having the same capacity do not attempt it if the car a have a higher refrigerant capacity than car b do not use this process but if the car b has let's say 1500 refrigerant capacity and car a have refrigerant capacity of 600 then you can be able to use this if the both of them have the same refrigerant capacity you can use this very method and everything is gonna go smooth as i promise all right however my own disclaimer is you're implementing half of this on trying to skip the video on trying to buy time whatsoever 15 minutes is not too big for you to spend on trying to save yourself thousands of dollars for most of you who do not have a refrigerant recovery machine kindly stop here or do not watch this video if you must skip any part of this video stop here are you ready so let's pop the hood open Now, ideally, they have two methods, and the two methods, pretty much the other one is something which uh, is going to give it a, a wimp. So, all you're going to need in order to perform this very service to recover the refrigerant inside your car AC system without using a refrigerant machine is going to be this guy which is called your manifold gauge set a simple manifold gauge set that has this now next car here you want to align the second car since this is a driver side you want the second car since this one this is where the driver side of this very car is this very Passat model you want to turn this car the other way if it's American model so that the passenger side will be facing each other. So this one face this side, face the camera, while the other one back the camera like as if they are passing each other. I hope that is understood. But it has to be the two passengers. The reason why it has to be the two passengers is because the quick connect couplers, the service port, is around here and that is what we're going to be dealing with so with your manifold case set i'm going to go ahead i'm going to be getting the camera close up so that you can see what i'm doing here okay here we go now that you have uh, arrived at this very junction here we have two service ports we have the high side and we have the low side so first thing first is you want to identify the car which you want to uh, take the refrigerant from want to recover the refrigerant from so I'm gonna be using this very one here the Jetta here as the subject why this one here is gonna be the donor remember what I told you this one has to face the other way but the two front tire has to be matching exactly at the same position just like this one did but it has to be the other way now let's go so what you need to do next is 
you grab this guy right here, the manifold gauge set, then open this very service board, then get this guy here and uh, connect to this. The low pressure port is what you want to be targeting here on this very one. So since this is the one which you're going to be recovering the refrigerant from, the one we're going to be recovering the refrigerant from, we're going to be using the, the first low service port so that we can be able to control it with this very knob here. Then when that is done, then we want to go ahead. Make sure that this very side is completely tight. And this side is also completely tight. The high side is completely tight. And this yellow line here is what we're going to be needing to lose out. All right. Now after losing it out, we're going to be needing a second quick connect couplers. And this is slow service quick connect coupler. So we're going to be having two low service, uh, low side quick connect couplers. The one on the yellow one is going to be the one we're going to be using to recover the refrigerant. Why the blue one is going to be the one we're going to be recovering from. I hope that is clearly understood is that the yellow line is the one that you're using to recover the refrigerant while the blue line is the one you use to suck the refrigerant so after setting it up like this I want to dress the camera back so that you know exactly what it looks like just a moment Okay guys, after setting it up, this is what it looks like. You can see the blue line. The blue line is connected to the car which you want to recover the refrigerant from. While the yellow line that is left, which is this guy right here. Let me show you. This very guy right here with a low service connect line have to connect to the second car. Right? Okay, now, so the second one has to connect to this very car. Remember what I told you, this car has to be facing this side. And at least if we have a, a, a like a two foot difference from the tires is okay. Two foot from here is okay. Two foot distance so that this very one here can be able to ha uh, harness the uh, uh, low pressure line. So what you want to do here is to connect this very one here to the low pressure line that is why I decide to put a low pressure uh, service connect coupler here now when you do that now the next thing you want to do just a moment guys okay now after connecting to this one here this one here the system is good and this one, this is probably the one which you want to uh, uh, recover the refrigerant from. So what you want to do next is make sure that this guy is well tightened and there is no any leak from here. And this side also is well tightened. I want to go ahead. All right. This car don't need to start. The one which you are recovering the refrigerant from don't need to start. You now have to screw this one all the way in so that the refrigerant can start passing here. All right. The refrigerant can come through here and come over here by here. When it gets here right now, the pressure of the amount of refrigerant that is present inside this car will be manifested here. Since you're not starting this very car here, the pressure should be around 100 or 120 PSI as a static pressure readings. I hope that is clear. Now, after that, you can go ahead. This very car is the one you're gonna be using to 
recover the refrigerant from here so you go ahead and connect this one to the service port of this one then you start this very car when you start it then turn on the ac system as soon as you turn on the ac system with this one connected to this low pressure line service connected low pressure line then you want to go ahead to gently open this the refrigerant to start flowing from here and here and taking it into this very car so technically speaking this is more like swapping the refrigerant from this very car from car a to car b all right so why the refrigerant is going there you're going to be seeing it right here right now in some other case it's also very imperative that you need to connect this uh, high pressure line here but while connecting it you don't need to open anything aside screwing this one. You need to connect this one also to the high pressure line. You need to connect this one to the high pressure line like this. Now connect the high pressure line here, then screw this one all the way in, but do not touch this one. Let this one be completely tight and closed. So what's going to happen there is going to give you the reading of the amount of refrigerant that is going here. So these two gates are going to be giving you exactly the reading of the refrigerant that is flowing from car A to car B. So as soon as it's done, this should return to at a one here just a moment should return to one here or return to zero and as soon as it returns to zero you can go ahead and lock this side up then go ahead and disconnect this quick connect coupler here from the car b and you're done now as soon as this one get to zero you are done you can go ahead and come back here and unscrew this one anti-clockwise unscrew this one anti-clockwise then this refrigerant inside this very car A here has been completely recovered into car B then you can disconnect your quick connect couplers close the valve then suppose it's the refrigerant which you want to do which which you uh, the expansion valve which you want to replace from this very one here then go ahead and replace it and after that you can use the same process which I have taught you here to reverse the refrigerant back inside the system but you have to be sure that you are not recovering from refrigerant uh, you are not it, it, make sure that the car A and car B are using exactly the same refrigerant if this one is using R134A make sure that this one is using R134A so that you don't miss the refrigerant so if this one is using R1234YF do not use this very method here I hope that is clear okay guys I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one bye for now